Guess what we're doing again? Digging trenches. This time it is all to prepare for bringing utilities to the pole barn. So we've got water and electricity um, that are piped in the concrete slab of the pole barn that we are going to prepare for running it all in. But first, we gotta finish these trenches. right now is we're digging for uh, the well pump that's going to be installed on Monday. I need to dig a bunch of trenches for from the well to the shop here, from the shop to the pedestal, from the well area down to the spring house so we can have spring house water up here. So we got a lot of digging and I generally could make pretty quick time of it but as you can see I'm digging in this really hard bedrock and it takes a little bit of time to keep scratching at it so uh, it's going to be an all-day deal. The area between the pole barn and the slope is too narrow of an area for the mini X to get in. So Daniel had to use a hammer drill to break through the rock there. We ended up having to rent a bigger mini X because of all the rock we were hitting. Some areas were tough to break through the rock, even for this machine, but other areas it did the job just fine. worked until the sun went down and got all the big digging done. It's a new day and we got all of the trenching done as much as we could before we hit rock. So this is all the trenching that's going from the well, the meter box, pole to barn. the pole barn, and then the, the spring, spring house. house. It's all dug, but there's some areas that were not 42 inches deep, so I had to rent the skid steer with uh, uh, the demo attachment that, uh, you know, I just don't know. It's doing a decent job right now, but it's just going to be more of the same picking through it. It's going to take forever, and I have it for a half a day. So it feels like we're constantly up against the clock, um, but uh, Just we'll get now. her done. Yeah, so four hours of picking through rock, we could do it. Well, that didn't work. So using that bobcat to get the right angle at the top of the rock to break through it was just not working because the ground started to give way at the top of the trench line where the tires were sitting, um, which would have just made it all cave in. 
So we're gonna return it and hopefully get our money back. And then we're gonna have to go about this the good old fashioned way <laughs> with shovels and pickaxes and handheld hammer drills. It's going to be a long, long day. Wish us luck. I'm not strong enough to get my shovel under. <laughs> so I'm having to pick up all these clumps of dry. You're making more work for yourself here. <laughs> I'm having to pick up clumps of dry clay with my hands to get it out of this trench. So it is what it is. All right, we're taking a little breather. We are about halfway done with our manual digging in the heat, in the sun. <laughs> Here it's not bad, we're in the shade. Yeah. The rest of the way we'll be in the shade for the most part, but right now we're gonna work on the trenching. That is for the hydrants that go around the pole barn and then the and trench towards the spring house. Yeah, but all that digging we did around the spring house the waters come <laughs> up about 50 feet from the spring house. We got into that yeah. water table from the spring, so it's starting to fill up the trench, which is kind of cool. Too bad our well isn't there. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> All right, back to work. All right, so we're making progress here. Uh, I just got off the phone with the gentleman who's helping us with the pump install. And he's the one that's going to be getting the permits through the state. Uh, for, with the state of Idaho, in Idaho County, all you need permits for is water, I'm sorry, uh, plumbing, electrical, and HVAC. And so he's helped me get the permits for some of the plumbing stuff that we're going to be doing with the hydrants and uh, the well pump. And because we're having so much issues with, with all this rock, normally you want to be 42 inches below finished uh, grade. Um, he's going to be uh, working with the inspector to get him to buy off on like 36, 32 to 36 inches below grade, which is good because, listen to that, with the digging bar, I'm making very, very slow progress. So. We're gonna get this to about 32 inches below surface finish elevation, and we're gonna call this good. Uh, we're making progress. We're getting to the tail end to be ready for him on Monday. We're gonna finish working here this evening, and uh, we'll still take you guys for a ride and show you the spring here in just a little bit. This is the trench that we had to dig by the spring house. This is going to go up to the future home site for a hydrant that's going to service our garden. So today's the day we get our well water. pump installed yep. and we will have running water really soon. You know, all of this work we wanted to do ourselves and again, I, I constantly have to remind myself of where our limits are because <laughs> uh, it's you can't use the poly pipe anything past 300 foot down so they have to go with, uh, I believe it's one inch uh, threaded PVC. And by the time you get 450 foot down, that's it's a lot of weight that we just don't have the rigging that these guys have to be able to lower the pipe 20 feet at a time. And you have to keep it straight, right? And you have to it's... keep it straight and the pump's hanging from the bottom <laughs> of it. So if anything goes wrong, it's 
just it, it would have been really bad. So on one hand, I kind of regret not doing it on ourselves. On the other hand, there's too much at risk and it's money well spent. So yeah. <laughs> while they're doing that, um, they're also, uh, they got more guys down the, the, down the hill where we don't have the 42 inches of cover. They're putting it in some like plastic piping, which will prevent contact with the freeze line. So in the areas that we don't have that cover, uh, there'll be a little air gap in between the poly pipe and the frost line yeah, because uh, during of the, the winter because of the corrugated pipe yeah and that's because we weren't able to get at depth because of all the rock that yep. we were hitting so, so at least there was a solution to that yeah so while yeah. they're doing all that uh tish and i we need to start doing the electrical because uh, we have inspections called in for today to not only look at the electrical for the well pump that he's putting in but i called in for my own inspection so that i can get the two inch conduit connected to the meter pedestal into the pole barn. We're not pulling wire today. I'm just getting the conduit in the ground, showing them I have the 12 to 24 inches of cover. 12 is really all that's needed if you're not gonna drive on it. So we're mm -hmm. gonna get that all installed right now. And hopefully by noon, we'll be ready for inspection to get a partial sign off so that all of this stuff can get backfilled later on this afternoon and on tomorrow. So ready to get to work? Ready. Let's go doll. <laughs> We had to come into town real quick. Uh, well, it's not real quick. It's about a 45 minute round trip um, because we were short on conduit. So Daniel's beating himself up, up about it because he's not sure how his calculations were off, but it's all good. We're loaded up. Gonna take this back up to the guys so they can finish that well pump installation.
mean, is it as simple as filling up a bucket to see when it's cleaned up? Yeah. Yes. That's really clean. This is up. really All clean. That's what I'm saying. Usually it's cloudy like tea. Right. Or like gray like a, I didn't see it. Oh, can you? Yeah. Okay. That's really good right now. Is it? I'm yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. That's cold too. Yeah. This is all well water right here and it's super clean. They just turned the pump on and they were saying you can expect that it's going to be real cloudy and brown for, you know, an unknown period of time, an hour, two hours, three hours. But it came out this clean as soon as they turned it on. So although we have a really deep well that doesn't produce a whole lot of water, it's in very, very hard granite and it is ice cold and it is very clear. So we're just letting it run now to get the bleach smell out of it. They dumped the chlorine tablet in there. So uh, we're just letting it all run, get all these uh, suds out of there that they use from uh, drilling. Um, but other than that, we got fresh water here, dear. got all the conduit laid for the inspection. Uh, the inspector should be here any minute. Uh, we're, like I said, we're just getting a partial uh, release so that I could backfill all the conduit. I still have to blow rope through it and uh, and uh, run the cable through it into the inside sub panel, but I'm a month away from that. I just want to get all the stuff backfilled and get our land back in order. Cause So we're just out uh, exploring above uh, Clearwater National Forest looking for some berries. Yep, going on a little joy ride. So we parked the side by sides because we found huckleberry bushes. Uh, so we're taking a little break from our ride to pick some. There's not very much, but it's enough to make us happy. I did.